Hey there guys, it's Lee here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to rent out your free hard drive space using the Sciacoin wallet. So in yesterday's video, I actually showed you how to set up the Sciacoin wallet and use some of the actual basic functions and features such as sending and receiving coins. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna go into the other part of it, which is actually sharing your hard drive space, which you can actually rent out to other users and you can actually earn a income in Sciacoin for doing so. So Sciacoin's a pretty cool concept where you've got this um, option where you can actually provide uh, your data storage space or you can provide your hard drive space to the network. And then you've got other people which are the renters or the buyers of the data storage who actually want to buy that empty space. So it's quite a good uh, collaboration uh, that works well on both parties. So for example, if I have some free space in my hard drive, and you then I can actually rent that to you or if you require some extra space because your hard drive is full up then you can actually purchase that from me so it's a two-way interaction and that is what the uh, Sciacoin network uh, provides or facilitates for that um, transaction to be processed between us so it's a pretty cool uh, concept I really like the actual network and the idea of it Okay, so before we get started in the actual hosting, which I'll be showing you on the computer that's actually next to me, which is a Windows uh, 10 machine, uh, there's a couple of requirements that you need to have in place uh, before you can actually host uh, your hard drives or share your actual hard drive for hosting. So with your actual Cycoin uh, wallet set up, you need to have some funds in there. The funds that you need, um, according to the actual Cycoin uh, website, is 50,000 Cycoin. Um, however, you will actually need a little bit more than that because you need the basic minimum, which is 50,000 Cycoin, but you also need a little bit extra uh, for basically a collateral and also the transaction fees that are requested when you actually put the contract um, onto the, the actual marketplace. So what I would recommend is that you actually fund your wallet uh, with about 55,000 Sire coins. Um, that's one of the uh, minimums that I would personally use. That's what I've used and it's worked well for me. So that's what I would recommend for you too. The other thing that you're gonna need as well is there is a minimum amount of space that you can uh, issue to the network. And that minimum amount is 35 gigabytes of space. So if you have more than that as your free storage, then you're fine. So. 55,000 uh, Sycons will be good for you. 50,000 is the bare minimum and you might be able to just scrape through one whenever. I, I recommend a little bit more. And 35 gigabytes of free hard drive space. They're the two main requirements uh, that you need to get going. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna jump over to the other computer and I'll just do the actual screen capture and um, share the whole sort of process of setting up the actual hosting with you and um, how to share your folders, um, issue it to the network and how you can actually earn Sirecoins. So let's go and do that now. Okay, so we are now on our Windows uh, 10 machine, which is the machine uh, right next to me. Um, so I've already got the actual uh, folder open which has the Sirecoin client inside. Um, and what we need to do is I'll show you what we need to do first is we need to select the actual Sirecoin um, executable, but we need to right click and we need to run it as an administrator. Um, you need to do this, otherwise if you don't, you'll get a error uh, when you try to um, issue the actual hosting or set up the actual folder for hosting. So when you run it, run it first, make sure you run it as an administrator. Okay, then the actual wallet is gonna load up like it normally does. If we select the wallet, uh, you need to actually unlock it. So we're just gonna paste our password in there and we're gonna go to and unlock it. It's gonna take a few minutes to unlock like it normally does. Uh, but once that is completed, we'll be able to continue on with the actual hosting. Okay, so let's continue on. Our wallet is up, open and synchronized and the actual wallet has now completed the unlocking process. So we're good to continue. So as I said in the intro, um, I've actually already funded my wallet with 55,000 uh, Sirecoins, so we're ready to go um, on that front. And um, I also have the free um, space as well, at least I think so. So what we're gonna do is from the actual Sirecoin wallet, let's just minimize that. If we go to the hosting tab on the left hand side, and this is where all the actual um, hosting is arranged from. So uh, the way I do it is, 
the way the actual thing is designed, you kind of start from the bottom and then kind of work back up. Um, that's just kind of the way the interface is designed. Um, so if you go to the very bottom, you've got the actual text, which is add storage folder. So we click on that text there. And then it's going to ask us for basically where do we want to store the actual data that is being stored on our hard drive or the incoming data from the actual network that is the data that other people um, are providing and paying you for. So if we just select uh, one of my hard drives, um, we'll just go uh, F for example. Um, what we'll do is I'll actually create a new folder in here just so we can kind of track um, where the data is uh, being stored. So I'll just do Sire uh, Rental uh, Space. Um, and I'll just put a note of the size of it. I'm going to do uh, 50 gigabytes just to help uh, keep track of it. So then if we uh, select that actual folder and then just confirm it by clicking select folder. Uh, the next box is going to ask you um, just to confirm exactly how much size we want to rent. Um, obviously by the folder description I'm going to be going with 50 gigabytes. Um, like I said before the minimum is 35 uh, gigabytes but we're going to go with uh, 50 for this demonstration. So then we click on save. So that's that. Um, further down the bottom you can see this kind of uh, the location of it. So that's the location there. And then you've just got the free space and the total storage space. So what will happen is um, as you receive contracts, your free space, the, the space will basically be filled and your free space will uh, decline um, over time. So from there, you've got this uh, configurations uh, kind of area. So I'll just go through each one of these parts uh, one by one. So what you're doing is when you're actually um, providing free space on your hard drive to the network, essentially you are creating a contract. Um, so what you're doing is you're saying to the network, um, this is what I'm offering, these are the details, and then other people can basically choose to accept or reject your offer based on the details that you have uh, provided. So this configuration is kind of like the contract um, details that you're providing. So at the top, we've got the maximum uh, duration, which is actually in weeks. Um, it's currently set to 26, which is um, six months. And that's basically how long the contract is going to last for. So if a person wants to host with you, and it, as it is at the moment, set for 26 weeks, Basically, you're promising to provide um, hosting for up to um, six months. Um, so that's how that works. I'm going to actually change it to uh, 52. So I'm saying that I'm basically going to provide hosting for up to one year in total. So that's um, the actual maximum uh, duration that I'm offering there. The next part is the collateral per terabyte per month. So this is basically like an insurance policy for the people that are going to be buying the uh, data storage from you. What you're basically saying is that if I lose um, one terabyte of your data, I will pay you compensation of 250 Sire coins. So that's how that works. The more um, or the higher the collateral that you use is kind of like you're paying um, or offering more as an insurance premium to the to the actual person that wants to rent uh, from you. So the higher that amount, you'll probably get more interest in your actual contract. Uh, for the time being, I'm just going to leave that as it is. 250 sounds um, reasonable. So if someone, for example, hosts with us and they used up a whole terabyte of hard drive space um, and we lost all their data, we'd have to pay that person um, 250 Sycons. Um, that money is actually held in escrow until the contract is um, completed, uh, just to make you aware of. So the next thing down is the price per terabyte per month. So this is how much we're actually charging per terabyte on a monthly basis. Um, you can see down the bottom that in this case we're actually only offering 50 gigabytes. So that's actually 5% of the amount there. So although we're charging 1,000 per terabyte, we're only using 5% um, of that. So of this 1,000, on the, assuming we fill the whole contract, we'll basically get uh, 50 Sire coins per month. Um, if we was offering 100 gigabytes, we'd get 100 uh, Sire coins per month and so on. So what I'm actually going to do is, uh, the default is 1,000, but I want to kind of fill up the actual uh, contract and hopefully get a bit more interest in it. 
So I'm just going to reduce the actual price per terabyte to 750 um, and hopefully that undercuts um, some of the other um, hosting providers and then we can get a bit more um, interest on our contract. So the next option is the actual bandwidth uh, price which is done in the Sire coins per terabyte. So for example if someone is actually um, hosting their data with us um, and they use up one entire terabyte what happens is if that person then downloads all of their data from you um, they're going to be paying this amount of money to do that so it'll be 250 Sire coins every time they download the full one terabyte from you assuming that's what you're providing for them um, so basically like it's a charge for the internet usage um, the bandwidth is not something I'm particularly bothered with um, I would set it to zero but the minimum is one so we're not actually going to be charging for bandwidth on this um, you know because the, the internet that we have and it's the same for most people is like unlimited internet so I'm not really um, too concerned um, about that so then at the bottom we've got accepting contracts so all the time that the actual contract is active or the, all the time that you basically want to be accepting new contracts or receiving um, data and providing your uh, data storage services to the actual network uh, you want that left as uh, yes basically um, you've got the save option there so I'm just going to save those um, settings I think that's actually already saved automatically you can also use the reset option if you just want to go back to the uh, the basic sort of settings there okay and with all that set in place so we've got our folder we've got the configuration that we want then if you go right to the very top what we need to do is we need to announce it um, what this is going to do is basically share this contract it's going to announce it onto the actual network and say where are open for business so we'll click on that you're going to get an, uh, an announcement which basically confirms your IP address and the port and it also tells you that there's a charge for the announcement of 15 Sire coins. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and announce that and that is basically that done. If we actually go over to the wallet you can see some of our transaction history here so this is the, obviously the 55,000 that I deposited into the wallet and then we've got this 12.5 Cycoin, and this is just like a reference for it as well. So this is the actual charge uh, for that announcement that's going to be going out. So that is basically it. You're kind of uh, ready to uh, receive contracts um, at that point. What you do actually need to do, though, is you need to leave your wallet. Um, as far as I'm aware, you need to leave your wallet unlocked, um, and you definitely need to leave the Cycoin, um wallet itself, um, the actual program, you need to actually leave that open and running. Um, you can, of course, like minimize it or save it to close it to your taskbar, um, but it does actually need to be uh, running in the actual background to accept um, contracts. Um, if by chance the actual uh, application closes or crashes, um, you can just reopen it, unlock your wallet, and then basically um, you're back in sort of business again. Uh, what you will notice at the top is uh, of the actual hosting kind of window is you have this um, active contracts. Um, over time this will slowly sort of fill up and then you'll have the amount of um, Sire coins that you've actually earned over time and you also have your kind of expected earnings so once you get one contract you should start seeing these um, numbers um, start to move up a little bit so I think that's about everything for this video I think I've covered pretty much um, all of the basics um, as always if you have any questions or comments you can just leave those in the comments box um, below this video um, and I'll be sure to get back to you guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching and it's been useful to you. Um, until the next video guys, take care. Bye bye.